Hello, Captains. This is Kent again, and welcome to The Flight Show. So I really need to address the question that's been posed out there, particularly to someone I need to give a shout out to, which is Marcus Manolo, one of my biggest supporters and has been wondering where I've been and been posting. So let me answer this question. Where have I been? Well, as you know, we're amidst the coronavirus outbreak, pandemic, if you will. And even where I am, we have a 24 hour, well, it's, it, it, you know, it's a 24 hour uh, safer to stay at home mandate by the mayor. And so it's supposed to last for two weeks and it's gonna probably be extended. So many of you know that I'm a university professor and our university has uh, closed down, but we've moved all of our classes to online. And so I've been in the midst of converting and teaching my online classes here from home in my home office, which also shares my flight simulator. And that's been uh, very taxing because online courses actually take a lot more time than lectures. Uh, but all the work's on the front end. Well, if you're stopping in the middle of a semester to, commit, co to, to convert several courses um, over to online, including laboratories where you're really supposed to be in a lab and uh, doing experiments with lab equipment, uh, that becomes very taxing on time, and I needed to dedicate time to that. But there's also been another issue because I've really been wishing to, you know, just put up a five minute video or something. And by coincidence with the coronavirus, my computer had had this problem that it works fine until I'm flying prepared 3D, which is the flight simulator that I primarily fly in. And if you go for about five or 10 minutes, the computer would literally shut down and reboot itself without being prompted. Uh, and sometimes you could get through one whole flight. And I mean, when I say sometimes out of, a, out of 10, maybe one would make it all the way to its destination. So it's been very hard to try to video things because I could be videoing a flight even if I thought it was gonna be five minutes and the computer would just shut off and reboot. And then the video that I was actually taking wouldn't even be good because, because of you know being shut off in the middle of recording, it, it messes with the Kodak or something. But all this is to say that I haven't been able to record because of the issue with my flight simulator. I even in this period downloaded uh, DS World, DSC, uh, DCS World, DSC World, uh, the, the combat flight simulator, C, <laughs> the combat flight simulator. I've actually downloaded quite a bit of software, for, uh, aircraft for that. And though it's fun, I think it really taught me that my passion is truly in general aviation and commercial aviation. I was gonna post some videos with that, but I find that there are a lot of people doing content with uh, DCS World already. And I don't know if there's anything I could contribute that would be significant because I'm just learning that system myself. Um, I'm watching other people's videos trying to learn things. But even still, it's interesting, it's fun, but it hasn't gotten to the point that it's a passion. And so I really wanted to get to the point that I could get my computer working again. And after doing some research online, I think I've narrowed it down to the issue as a power supply. Ever since I upgraded to the RTX 2 uh, 2080 Ti, that, that uh, graphics card really draws a lot of power. And I thought I had a beefy power supply in my computer. I think it's a 900, 950 uh, watt power supply. But I do realize that it's showing its age and it might be at the end of its lifespan because uh, maybe that video card drawing on so much power uh, kicks into this thing when it's drawing too much power it just cuts itself off and reboots as a safety mechanism I'm really not sure from the internet searches and forums that I had done to, to that I've you know the research that I was doing on that in the forums and so forth that was one of the possible uh, solutions the power supply and it seemed like the most logical I've already adjusted power ratings and windows as best I could that wasn't solving the problem so aside from this being a video to explain why you haven't heard from me. And by the way, well, why didn't I just uh, uh, respond to some messages? <sighs> I just didn't have the heart. I, I really wanted to post a video and surprise you guys. Uh, and every day I went, actually, I tried to go to Best Buy and get a new power supply and they thought they had one. Turns out it wasn't there. So I had to wait another week for them to ship it in. But guess what arrived today? My new EVGA 
1000 watt power supply and this bad boy is about to go inside my computer. So I'm getting about 100 extra watts of power. It's brand spanking new. So not only do I think that this is gonna fix the problem, if I ever wanna put another uh, RGX, uh, uh, R R RGX, RTX, sorry, RTX video card in there and do SLI, I think the extra 100 watts is gonna serve me very well. So this is not only an explanation as to where has Dr. Wallace been? It's an unboxing of my brand new power supply. Now I've already disinfected it uh, because you know the virus can live on surfaces for several hours. Um, so I just wanted, I've already disinfected the box and we're going to open this sucker up. And then I'm gonna spend the rest of my afternoon installing it in my computer. And I can't tell you how excited I am. And I am praying that I have actually correctly diagnosed the problem and uh, that this is gonna solve the issue. Okay, so let's see here. Just uh, cutting open, cutting back this tape. Oh, that's a powerful tape. Right there. It's not just the, it's not just the cellophane. It's the tape. Uh, but okay, we got enough of this off. And actually, I got it on sale. I think it's around. Uh, I don't know if this was a sale price, but the average ones for thousand, the average price for thousand watt power supplies like uh, EVGA and Corsair was like two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, because this is fully modular, by the way, uh, which is important. Forgive me, I thought I'd probably get dry mouth here. Corona tip. Be drinking 20, plenty of water, preferably every 20 minutes, because if the virus which gets into your respiratory system, it'll sometimes sit in your mouth if you've ingested it, or in the back of your throat. If you sip water, it'll wash it down and it'll get destroyed by your stomach uh, acids. So. Sip water every 20 minutes, preferably warm, because it, it likes cold environments. It doesn't like warm environments. Uh, safety tip for the day. Okay, almost there. I think, I think we've got it. And let me say that this seems to be a very beefy system. So what do we have in here? We have obviously power cord and the appropriate cables uh, to go through your machine. Now I'm not having to rewire my machine. All I'm gonna do is switch, take the power supply out and plug the old cables into the new one. So I'm gonna have some extra cables here for any future work or replacements that I'm gonna need uh, for your motherboard. You, uh, the power supply that goes directly into the motherboard. Here is our beautiful baby. More cords. And we have here a gang of more power cords with EVGA on the uh, Velcro ties to keep things nice and neat. Gotta love EVGA in their packaging. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, I know in a way it's kind of like, oh, it's just a power supply and it's not really going to do anything new. Well, there is one thing new it is going to do. It's going to have my computer freaking working, which it wasn't before. <laughs> so in that respect, I'm actually very excited. Assuming that I have correctly diagnosed the problem, which I feel pretty confident that I have. But even if I didn't, I got a new power supply with some more wattage. So life is sometimes a matter of perspectives. So I take off the uh, cushion packaging. Nice manual here, which I'm gonna need because I wanna know which sections go to which modular pieces. Let me see, where's that diagram? You know, the PCI, well, it should be late. Oh my gosh, this fan. You know, the way my particular, I have a Corsair case. It's a really, one of those really large floor models. 
and unfortunately you don't even get to really see the power supply or its fan because it doesn't blow up into the case it actually blows to the floor it's you you you, it, you actually put your power supply in upside down um so it's unfortunate that we didn't get to even see this because it has a really nice EVGA trademark symbol there in the middle of the fan. I'll show it to you as soon as I get it out of the bag. Yes, very beefy, very heavy, very beefy. Like I said, uh, EVGA, uh, oh, it's upside down. EVGA symbol, 1000 watts right here. And uh, all of the modules that you will need uh let's see so we have well this one actually it's designed to be upside down as well it's designed to be upside down so maybe the fan blowing out of the bottom isn't as uncommon as i had once thought um so we have the motherboard uh connections uh your vga vga so basically the power supplies for your um video cards cpu sata uh, yeah, it's it's all right there and ready to rock. Now I just knowing what I have to I'm gonna have to have at least two for the VGA because I have one big giant video card, and so VGA one, VGA two, VGA three, VGA four, VGA. So you can have up to three video cards, depending on how many uh, pins that video card needs. You at least got two covered. Uh, I can see that. Uh, you got the CPU one, CPU two. Very nice. I'm assuming that those are the power leads that go to the cooling fans. I'll have to see. But everything that I have in the old one are the connections for the new one. I just have to take out the old, uh, screw this bad boy in, and I, which the other one doesn't have. It's an on-off switch. This one does. So I'm actually very excited. And again, EVGA 1000G+. So this is a beefy power supply kind of excited to put it in all right so i would like to say one to marcus thank you uh for your messages it is so good to hear and f you know feel people that are uh wanting content and you supporting the channel